And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. We're going to be collecting at Jiggy's on Mad Monster Mansion today. Got a lot of stuff to do, so let's begin. We can go ahead and start by pointing out that we will be needing the pumpkin form to collect all of the Jiggies on this map, and that will of course require the 20 Mumbo tokens if you haven't made that transformation already. Beyond that, however, we'll be running down here into this wine cellar. There is both a Jinjo and a Jigsaw piece. And of course, if you did not know, you can take out the ghosts using gold feathers. I believe that is the only way you can kill them. If you don't have any gold feathers, they're not very fast. You can kind of just avoid them. Just ignore the ghost. It's pretty easy to do, said no one ever. Anyway, done in the wine cellar now. We're going to head back out. The next thing you'll see me do here is knock down this big gate with a big padlock on it. <laughs> Uh, we'll be needing to run through here. We won't have time to actually hit it later on. We'll be we'll be getting to that in a second. But does that that gate always? Every time I see that gate, it reminds me of when I was first playing this game. Uh, you see that big padlock on it, and I go, "Oh, there's definitely a key somewhere on this map to break that down." Oh no, you just you just attack it and it falls over. Anyway, though, we're in this very strange place now. It's a very strange shed. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. And we're gonna be playing uh, another spelling game where we're going to be spelling like the only important word in Banjo-Kazooie, and that's the name of the game. Nothing to this. There's exactly enough letters to spell Banjo-Kazooie. It can be kind of difficult to see what letters are sort of right below the camera. Like this one right here, what letter is this? This is the A. <laughs> it's, it's almost impossible to see it without pretty much being on top of it. But other than that... Just continuing to spell things. I really like how the floor looks in this little room here. That 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 picture of Banjo Kazooie, nice by the way. Uh, it's not a. It doesn't look like a texture to me. I think those are all like I guess uh, geometry. I think that was all done in the map editor. I definitely don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, but yeah, I don't think that was made in Photoshop. Alrighty, spelling game done. We'll head back outside. And I believe next we'll be jumping into the well. You can do this next part either as Banjo and Kazooie or as the pumpkin. We dip down in here as the pumpkin in our music note guide. We'll be doing this as Banjo Kazooie now, just because it's convenient. So go ahead and dive down here. And just inside this gigantic bucket. I think you'd have a hard time lifting that out of the well. But you can see that little, see that little tiny hole right there. That's how you could uh, uh, climb in there as the pumpkin. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that uh, bucket won't be holding a whole lot of water with that hole engineered in it. Anyway, we'll be knocking down this second gate that does not require a key. Don't let childhood me tell you otherwise. Hop up here with the uh, shock spring jump pad. Grab that blue Jinjo. And now we are going to be running into the church. This is why we needed to knock down that other, that first gate near the wine cellar back there. Uh, we have a time limit here, 14 or 15 seconds, where to grab the turbo trainers, and we would not otherwise have time to knock down that gate. So now that that's out of the way, we can just run right on inside. I guess only really, really fast people are allowed to go into this church. I mean, I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not my church. Who am, who am I to tell them how to run their church? This church for giants, I guess. Anyway, we're going to be climbing up here, and we're going to be playing uh, the organ. Banjo and Kazooie. Probably the best organ players in this, uh, in this universe. Other than maybe this ghost hand. He's pretty good, too. You can go ahead and start this mini game by kind of getting in front of his music sheet there. And we're just going to have a jam session. A really, really slow jam session. <laughs> I won't even really call this a memory game because you can just strike the keys immediately after he hits them. So this game, this uh, mini game here does have two phases. I think, I think in the second phase, he does get a little bit faster. Not quite fast enough for me, I think. I don't want to complain about it too much, but I, I, I'm usually ready for this game to hurry up and be done. 
Speaking of memory game though, I guess I could kind of see people mistaking this for a, a legit memory game and, and sitting there and watching the entire sequence and trying to memorize it. That would actually be pretty hard then, I would imagine. For all I know, maybe that's how this game was originally designed and they changed it. But yeah, definitely just strike what he, what he hits as he does it. While I was recording this, I, I was checking out the sheet music on his little, uh, on his music stand there. I was kind of wondering what song was shown there. I, I don't know how to read music, but uh, I went online and it's just the, the same song that's playing in the church, so that's kind of cool. I was kind of hoping for something, I don't know, it's kind of a funny Easter egg, like music from uh, you know Donkey Kong Country or something like that. All right, in hindsight, I probably should have just fast forwarded through all of that stuff and skipped a bit of it, but in case you needed to see every one of my actions, in case you needed to see the genius that was Haskey playing the organ game in Mad Monster Mansion on Banjo-Kazooie. There you go. And we will climb up here and grab the jiggy itself. <laughs> Make sure you do that uh, in testing. Sometimes I'll kind of do a little bit of a dry run before actually recording to uh, make sure I got the route kind of, you know, somewhat figured out. <laughs> make sure I actually remember where everything is. And uh, I played that game in, in one of my test runs and I just completely forgot to grab the jiggy and by the end of the by the end of the level, I was, I was I could not figure out what I was missing. I was like, did I bug the game? Yeah, right. Anyway, back outside, they're going to lock the door. They don't want to hear us play anymore. <laughs> and we're going to come out here and water these plants with eggs. And they will thank us. And they are thanking us. They're saying thank you. Thank you. I read a funny article about parents getting really upset at the developers of the game because... Uh, they were misinterpreting what the uh, little ghost pots were saying. Let's have a let's have another listen. Thank you. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of people that think those pots are saying "f you," and I think that's hilarious. Thank you. I don't know. I I guess I can kind of hear it. I think this is one of those like Laurel versus Yanny sound clip kind of things where you kind of hear what you want to hear. Apparently, I always wanted to hear them say thank you, so that's what I heard. Anyway, let's get past that. Uh, taking a quick dip into this cool little secret room here. I thought I would show this off. There is not a Jiggy in here, but um, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few people who don't know that this is a room. I guess I don't know that for sure. I just know that, uh, you know, I've been playing this game with friends over or whatever, and I've, I've jumped in here, and I've heard people say that they had no idea what was thing. Just a little place to reload, resupply. So I guess just keep an eye out for that uh, stained glass window, that cool <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie stained glass window. Kind of want one of those. Actually, I probably wouldn't, because there'd be people trying to jump through it. Alrighty, and it's time to climb on top of the church now. You can do this by hopping onto one of these uh, little tombstones here. <laughs> Luckily, these are the ones that don't turn into the enemies. And we can hop up here. This is one of those slippery roofs where you have to be using uh, Kazooie, or else you'll slide off. And then we'll go through this hole in one of the clock faces and gain access to the top of the clock tower. And you can do a backflip up here and then uh, climb up this, this pole. This is like one of those weather vane things, I think. Normally you'd have a, one of those, uh, you know, like on the, on the top of barns, they have those roosters that change direction with the wind. They're kind of cool. No rooster here, though. Just a compass. And then we'll fling ourselves down. I tried to land on top of the, uh, on top of the hedge maze. I know I always get a kick out of uh, running around on top of the maze. It feels so cheaty. But I fell right into the middle of it, so we'll just go through the normal way. Orange and Joe in the back corner there. And nothing else. No no jiggies or anything in the hedge maze. We'll be heading up to the second story of the main mansion now after I get denied by this bat. <laughs> kind of like how he was sort of killed off screen there. It was like we had a we had a heart to heart. We talked about it. And by that I ended his life. Anyway, a few uh, windows to note up here. This is going to be one of them. Uh, we won't be entering that room just yet. We'll be doing that as the pumpkin form, so you need to be sure to break the window because as a pumpkin, you have no attacks, so you wouldn't be able to open that window otherwise. 
And then right around here, I'm going to be going into this room, which is actually incorrect. I, I, I shouldn't be going into this room. And I'm going to realize that right now. <laughs> Do a little U-turn. This is not the right room. And then we'll hop over here to the opposite side. This is the room I was looking for. This one will have the last Jinjo for us on our Jinjo run. And just use the shock spring jump pad to gain access to the... I almost called it the roof of this bed. Probably one of the more odd things I've said today. Bed roof. And we will head back outside yet again. Alrighty, and this next room here kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense out of context. Uh, so it's almost kind of like you need to do it wrong just to see why you need to do it this way. Which, of course, I'm going to be skipping in this video here. But basically, if you enter this room from the main entrance, like the, the front door, and you walk inside, basically you can't reach the table or any of the chairs, so you touch the floor, right? Of course you do. But I guess the, the floorboards are, are squeaky, and it wakes this ghost up, who is, you know, protecting this jiggy. And once he's awake, you cannot get to the jigsaw piece. It's, you just have to go back outside. So that's, that's why you have to uh, enter that room uh, from the chimney, because then you're you got that that those, that uh, bridge of chairs that you can jump across there, and you can av completely avoid touching the floor. It's like you know, the floor is lava, but in Banjo Kazooie. So I hope that made sense. You know, kind of kind of doing that without showing how you can fail. I, I I hope that's not confusing, but you just have to do it from the roof. Anyway, time to uh, turn into the pumpkin form now. We'll be paying Mumbo a visit yet again. We'll be needing his form for two Jiggies. That'll be our last two on this map. So we're kind of wrapping this one up. I've mentioned uh, what we're about to be talking about in a couple of previous Mad Monster Mansion videos, but the trick to this last couple of steps here is, is knowing how to get onto the second floor of the main mansion as the pumpkin. Because as Banjo-Kazooie, normally you just you know climb up the drain spouts. Uh, but here, you're going to be needing to go through this little hole in the wall. This time I even see up to show you what that looks like. You're welcome. And inside this little hidden section of the hedge maze there, there's a little slanted bit, little piece of geometry that you can climb on up. And you'll be able to cross on over to the second floor of the mansion. And this is why we needed to, uh, again, this is why we needed to open up that window there. We would not have been able to open up any windows as the pumpkin. And then we're gonna pay Lago the Toilet a visit. My god, that name. And by that I mean it's pure genius. Anyway, we're gonna spend as little time as possible down here inside the toilet or the sewer system or whatever you want, you want to call this terrible, terrible place. All you gotta do is grab that Jiggy and get out of there. <laughs> it's like my favorite line in the game. I can't believe you went in there and now wash your hands, you filthy bear. As I leave without washing anything at all. Anyway, this next part happens quite quickly. Uh, we're gonna be dropping down the uh, the opening of that drain spout, which is gonna lead into this uh, this water collector thing. And when we drop down, we're actually going to be collecting the Jiggy that was right inside. Now, you might think you could just walk in from this opening right here, down here on the, the, the ground level. But uh, if you were to do that and go inside, you'd pretty quickly see that you actually can't reach the Jiggy by doing that. It's just barely placed out of your reach. You'll jump and you, you, you can't reach it. So you actually have to do it from the second story. So a little sneaky there. But anyway, that was it. That was 10 out of 10 Jiggies on Mad Monster Mansion. This is probably my favorite level in the game, so I really enjoyed being able to share this with you. Coming up next is going to be Rusty Bucket Bay. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.